Hi guys, so today is kind of a big day. I'm not fully ready yet, so that's why my face looks like shit. Um, I'm like, I'm not gonna put my eyelashes on yet. It's basically about nine in the morning, and it really sucks being up this early, but the reason for it is I'm going to a big poker tournament today. It's something I sort of decided only about a few days ago that I was gonna do, and I thought I'm gonna wait till the day, and then I'm just gonna vlog the entire day, so. This tournament's called the Goliath. It's a big uh, tournament held by Grosvenor Casinos every year at Coventry and they're doing all of the day ones this week and then it will be, because today's Tuesday, so they're doing it up until Friday. Then day two is Saturday and day three is Sunday, so let's hope I actually make it through. But I don't know if I'll even, if I'm even gonna make it past the first day, but it's £125 to buy in, so it's really expensive, but first place is guaranteed a hundred grand. So could you even imagine? Like, obviously, I don't expect to get anywhere near that, but um, still some, like, nice prizes up for grabs and fucking hell. And I am honestly just want to do it more for the experience than anything else, like, just to experience playing in a proper, like, big poker tournament and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to cost me pretty penny but hopefully it will be worth it so yeah I mean I should probably set off now because I want to make it there um I am going down with my boyfriend so I'm going to pick him up on the way and yeah so I'll probably just see you guys when I'm there so I made just a little pit stop on the way so I could get some iced coffee please excuse my car for being really messy that's from a few days ago whoops um, yeah, and I got, in here I got a bacon roll because your girl needs to wake the fuck up if I'm going to play some poker, so hopefully the coffee is going to give me some energy, because uh, I'm feeling a little bit like shit right now, and I, I am quite hungry, so yeah, I'm only like maybe 20 minutes, half an hour into the journey, so I've got like another hour and a bit to go. <sighs> Yay, we have just arrived and I'm actually kind of nervous right now about this and I really badly need to pee, like that coffee is just, ugh, really need to pee. Um, and yeah, I'm just not sure how this is going to go but I will keep you guys updated throughout the day. Oh my god, this looks really pretty. Wow, it's all sparkly and everything. to come really far away to vlog because there's just so many people like around everywhere and um so I'm out of the tournament and there's a guy driving oh. really slow so yeah I'm out of the tournament and I showed you obviously a little clip of inside there but I couldn't really do much else because there's just there's people around everywhere and it's hard for me to find a place where I'm not gonna look like well I suppose I wouldn't look that stupid vlogging at an event like this but I'm gonna look even more stupid doing it how it is to be honest um sorry I think I can stop about here yeah so I had a lot has happened so I was doing really well at the beginning I was doing really well at the beginning I got aces and a few people called and I got a decent amount of chips um, and I was doing really good as you saw in that clip but then shortly after that I got kings and um, I'm pretty sure this guy he hit the flush and so I folded and then people were saying I, some guy was saying I should have called and something but to be honest I really thought I was behind sorry if the wind's like shitty by the way I don't know why it's so windy um, so I lost like half my stack and then pretty much I just couldn't I just couldn't improve at all after that. So I feel like somebody's going to Um Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna play like cash or something. But it just Jack five and I had sixes and 
then in turn comes a jack and then I just look like a crazy person right now. Yep, so in turn comes a jack. Whoa, you can't see me. And uh, I go all in with pocket sixes because I'm like, I don't think he has a jack or a five here. And um, he had pocket sevens. So I had pocket sixes and he had pocket sevens. So that's how I went out. Absolutely wonderful. I'm so like lost right now. It's so awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so that was it. Pocket sixes versus pocket sevens, that was my outhand. Um, but actually, something f fun that happened. Um, I had seven four in the big blind, and everyone limp round to me, and then I flopped the straight. So I quadrupled up from that hand, and then the sixes hand happened shortly later. I was just like, I'm feeling so good right now, I just quadrupled up. I like, I really shouldn't have won that hand. And then, yeah, just a sick one. Just a really sick one nothing I can do about that so yeah don't know what I'm gonna do now this was a really expensive tournament to lose so yeah but at least I got the experience I guess I mean that it's something um, oh there is actually a Tesco over there but yeah this is a I'm just walking around the arena right now um, yeah well at least I outlasted like uh, I think I came like four, 400 and somewhere in the 470s and there was like 800 and something people so it could have been worse I guess but it could have been better just for some reason I seem to do really good at the beginning of tournaments and then it just goes fucking way downhill so yeah a bit sad but I tried my best I played pretty well I think I made a couple of good folds and stuff so I'm happy with the way I played and that's it really so that's all I can do it's all I can do it's in the rest of it is in Lux hands just nah. okay so I just got home a little bonus story um, so I decided to go play on the cash game and um, I sat down they were only doing uh, one pound one pound games which Normally I wouldn't play because they're too kind of like high stakes for me and I only had 40 quid on me so I was like okay well I'll just have to sit down with the 40 quid and I was just thinking to myself like this isn't enough to play with I'm gonna have to go take more money out but I was on the button and I was like okay I'm gonna play my button first because I'm not missing out on playing that and then I'll go and I'll get more money out so I am raised with king queen and I get like a few callers and then um, the flop comes queen high so I bet a guy puts me all in at this point I have to call anyway because I committed my stack and he hits the straight flush on the turn so even though I had the king of clubs for um, it was would have been a, a flush draw for me on the turn didn't come anyway but he, he had jack ten of clubs and it was queen nine eight of clubs. It was just so fucking ridiculous. I'm like, oh my god. And yeah, I know it was, wasn't it? So yeah, not not really a great run out for me today. A bit, yeah, I know. Like, she's agreeing with me. She understands my pain. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty fucking exhausted now and I'm just gonna go to bed. So... I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little video. Um, maybe some of you don't because you didn't understand poker, but oh well, I tried. <laughs>